Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ryan Sims from CG Hacks, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use our sweet new lens effects overlays in Photoshop. So this is our lens effects pack. So let's go ahead and cover the categories. We have blue planet, diffuse caustics, digital flares, fire bokeh, lens grind, refractions, and sun. I've got a couple of examples already pulled up. So let's say we're looking for that JJ Abrams, Michael Bay type of Hollywood lens flare. The digital flares is gonna be really good for that. So let's grab a couple of these real quick. Just gonna grab this one, drag it and drop it. Maybe move it off to the side just a little bit. Go over to my blending mode right here. Change that to screen and then hit enter. And if I wanna get rid of this little edge right here that's still kind of visible, I can just simply hit control L to bring up our levels and move this black slider over just enough to where you don't see that edge anymore and hit okay. And perhaps I wanna grab another one for the right side as well. I'm just gonna grab one, drag and drop it in, maybe resize it just a little bit. Again, go over to blending mode screen, hit okay. If I wanna play with the levels, control L, play with the sliders until you get the desired effect. Maybe for an image like this, I want to use something like the diffuse caustics. So I may take one of these images, drag and drop it in, maybe rotate, resize, something like this right here. Change the blending mode to screen, hit enter, control L, play around with the levels from there, so on and so forth. If I want to stack more, I'll just grab another one, drag and drop it in, resize, do the same thing. Change the blending mode to screen, control L, play with the levels. And here's another fun thing. If you would like to change the color of this, you can just hit control shift N, create a new layer and call it color. Check this box right here, change the blending mode to color, hit okay. Hit the I hot key to bring up our eyedropper, sample some of the color, make sure you have your color layer selected, hit the G hot key to bring up your paint bucket tool and click. And then you can change the color and of course from there, drop the opacity to the desired effect. Say we've got Superman here, and we've got this nice blue planet. Well, that seems like a good job for blue planet. So let's pull up that example, go to blue planet. We can find a nice flare, just take it, drag and drop it in, resize appropriately, change blending mode to screen, make that flare a little bit bigger, hit okay, control L to play with the levels, something quick and easy like that right there. If you're wanting to use a little bit more of a fiery background, we can go over to our fire bokeh, drag and drop one of these bad boys in here, rinse and repeat, just resize, change the blending mode to screen. If you wanna play with the levels you can, or if you'd just like to throw on a mask and paint with a black brush to get this bottom part out, you can do that as well. Maybe for Rick Grimes here, we'll use a little bit of lens grime. So let's go to our lens grime pack and you take this option right here, drag and drop, bring this up to the top left corner, maybe resize it just a little bit, change the blending mode to screen, hit okay, control L, play with the levels a little bit and perhaps even create a new layer called color, clip it to our subject layer, mode, color, hit okay, use the eyedropper tool again, maybe to sample this background color and paint bucket fill to make this lens grime effect more of the same color as the background. And of course you can drop the opacity if needed just to help it blend a little bit better. With Supergirl here, I think this might be a good job for refractions. So let's grab this example right here. Let's drag it in. Perhaps we can rotate it to be vertical, resize appropriately, change the blending mode to screen. And maybe instead of leaving it like this, we can hit control L, play with the levels, and then also add a new layer called color, clip it to our subject, change blending mode to color, hit okay. Eyedropper tool, sample some of this orange color, G hotkey to bring up the paint bucket, fill it with this color here. And that way it blends a little bit better. And last but not least, we've got this nice sunny background. Perhaps we can drop in some of the sun flares. So let's go with this one right here, drag and drop, position appropriately, and there you have it. So again, it's pretty straightforward, easy to use. Lens Effect is created to hack your workflow and give your images a little bit more depth and realism. So you can add a little bit more creativity, realism, and awesomeness to your images. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give us a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay notified on all of our latest videos. Be sure to visit cghacks.com where you can check out more Photoshop VFX overlays, 3D texture packs, and join our community in Discord. Don't forget to leave a comment and let us know what kind of assets you'd like for us to create next or what kind of tutorial video you'd like for us to tackle. And until next time, create more, say less, and stay creative.